So in today's video, we're gonna go through this new desk setup I've done. Um, I'm gonna do a little vlog style stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll, you guys will see this all after this and then I'll kind of show you how this desk started and how we got to where we were and the new kind of setup, new equipment I have. And um, yeah, we'll just go through that. And there'll be some B-roll. Obviously I'll link everything in the description. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And yeah, so I'll just step out of the way. Here we go. So I think you can see here the beginning of the transformation. So I'm gonna be changing around this desk I got a couple upgrades I wanna do. I wanna change that speaker. Okay, so this case anyway, why my lamp has a mask is just to diffuse the light. Um, it's a short term solution. We can find a different way soon, hopefully. Um, apart from that, what we're gonna do, yeah, so we're gonna just, I'm, I wanna just redo this whole thing, man. Get it nice and done, do the drawers. Cause like the drawers are, yeah, yeah, the drawers ain't it. So I want to just reorganize everything. I've been busy, so I ain't had no videos coming out, but there are loads of videos coming out very soon, making content. So in terms of the upgrades we have, I got this like organizer for this. So hopefully we can get me organized. I got some cable clip things uh, for the back of the desk. And then, yeah, I got a second pair of these organizer things. So what else I got? Okay, so I wanna change my kind of setup for sound. So I found my old subwoofer. Um, I bought some new speakers. Canto U4s so we're gonna check those out I almost returned these so let's see if they are actually any good um, I was gonna their subwoofer is too expensive for me right now so I just got found an old subwoofer I had so we're gonna try and see if this works the new one and then also the big big upgrade is this the LG ultra fine display ergo 32 inch that is the big upgrade that's gonna be replacing this one. This actually is the LG 4K UK850 monitor. This is actually a really, really good monitor. Like, really good. Um, one of the reasons why I wanna upgrade is just, it's just a little bit of quality of life changes. I, I wanna, the, the Ergo has a like a floating type thing with the arm slightly bigger and I think I can still get a decent amount of money on, for this on the used market so I think even if I sell this I think I should get a decent amount of money and um, I said I was gonna replace these speakers so these are the speakers that I've been driving everything um, I like these a lot actually because they're very vers vers versatile literally it has an aux it has Bluetooth it has Wi-Fi you can listen to radio on this um, I'm probably I'm probably not gonna sell this. I will do a review on this. I'm probably not gonna sell it because I think it's out of stock everywhere. They don't even sell it anymore. So I bought it for about 140. I've seen it for almost 200 on eBay. So I mean the price isn't, hasn't gone down. I could actually make money from it. But I probably will keep it because I really like how versatile it is. Um, like I said, you can connect the aux to it. You can do even comes with a remote even comes with a remote so if you want actually i will do a review on that so i do think it's worth it even though you probably can't or won't find it in a bose store um, at the minute um, but yeah nothing i'm not making any changes in terms of my laptop or anything that's all gonna stay the same really happy with the m1 macbook laptop um, but yeah, I want this whole thing to look way more minimal. So hopefully the upgrades help and then hopefully I can get some money for the, these old stuff eventually when I sell. So yeah, um, on to the next. Okay, so small update. I've cleared everything off the desk. Cable management life. 
with that new wire it has some cable management built in so hopefully we can sort this mess out so i've started unboxing the screen and there it is this arm is super heavy which it should be i guess because it has to be sturdy but yeah let's see how it goes so what's pretty cool is this arm is like kind of strangely solid and then kind of very fluid too like you can just turn it all around super cool um i feel like this i don't know if it's meant to be like this um maybe once the it's a bit of give so when the screen is on it'll be filled solid so this is i got these in matte white you know the deal not the best lighting at the moment but yeah because this place is a mess i can't even get a proper lighter at, at the moment so you'll get a better look towards the end anyway when i do the full reveal <sighs> yeah i think these look really cool though but very minimal time to get the screen on screen on time okay so to connect the speakers together to each other you gotta kind of connect these this wire between both the speakers so these are the xx cable this is the extra cable length from one speaker to the other it kind of sucks to be honest so i need to figure out where to put this uh, it's too much too much too much wires all right so this is what we're looking like it looks pretty good it's kind of what i'm looking for see there's lots of space underneath here so that could be cool in terms of like putting your keyboard away having a lot of desk space just being able to have i just want it to be free so the final result you're going to see probably what you're going to see you've already seen a bit in the thumbnail it's just going to be super clean loads of room i just love having space in my desk so the speakers look cool to me the speakers look cool they're not too big and not too small but yeah we'll test out the sound stuff all right so i've got these speaker stands hopefully this can help with the sound and stuff that's what i've been told anyway i think you can actually screw these onto the bottom I'm not sure if i'm gonna do that just filling out a form that i need to forward on to inform them that your power cable is not working all right so unfortunately what you just heard was me on the phone with lg customer support the monitors battery power or no the monitor plug power supply is broken um so i couldn't power it on but from the old lg monitor power supply i've been able to use the monitor so the monitor now works but they're sending me out a new monitor power bank for the new one uh, so i don't have to use the old monitor one kind of sucks obviously on the first day but it is what it is so i tried to put i tried to connect a subwoofer to these speakers um using this cable but it didn't work uh well so yeah there's no sub but what i've realized actually is i was really being timid with the sound on these these go really loud the bass is actually way better than i thought it would be so the bass is good i don't need any more than that all right so let's dig into this setup then so what have we got so we can start with the chair this is the marcus chair from ikea see it's a decent chair i would say it's not amazing um i think one thing it lacks is the adjustable arms so the arms aren't adjustable but you know it's comfortable enough i think the posture is good it's got good head support and it's very sturdy as well uh, i think it's about 180 pounds so dollar wise i'm sure it'll be around 180 dollars 200 dollars so it's you know it's not cheap a cheap chair but it's certainly not you know herman miller and then if we go forward and we look at the this is also from ikea it's a kitchen counter you know that classic youtuber tech um combination and that's obviously paired with the alex drawers um and for me that's been amazing i like having like a very large space and if we move forward 
got some ikea plants and then we have these are the kanto u4 it comes with this remote so you know it's not going to win any design awards but it's decent it's decent and then we have the logitech keyboard i have all this stuff linked in the description uh, it's k30 something is what it's called and then i have the mx master 2s if you saw my mx master 3s review you know why i kept the 2s um the 3s to me is a little bit sm smaller and less uh, ergonomic anyway to me i didn't think it was worth the upgrade and i have my ipad 11 inch ipad pro macbook air 13 docked i don't have it um, open sometimes i do i do have a laptop um, stand so sometimes i do but right now i'm liking this kind of clean setup so i have it docked so if i need a second screen i'll just use the ipad and then the centerpiece which is the lg 32 ergo monitor i really 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 like this monitor um, I like how easy it is to move around. It hasn't got very much backlight bleeding. Color accuracy is on point. It's very, very big. <laughs> you know, I like the 27, but the 32, I mean, watching stuff on this is really, really, really nice. Uh, small bezels as well, which is always good. And yeah, I don't think you can fault this monitor. Um, highly recommended. This is the, this is another lamp. It's from Ikea. I think it's called the Rigard or Rigard. And you know, I kind of, this was very much an impulse buy, but at the same time, it has been very useful because I use it to charge my AirPods Pro. I just never have to plug in my AirPods um, Pro to charge them, which is nice. So that's cool. And then here I have a video card because I want to start streaming very soon. It's another Ikea pot. And then yeah, just some books. And it's my favorite artist, Gustav Glimt. You know, some of his pieces I've got like just kind of put around and yeah this is uh, just paperwork and magazines for like design inspiration and then design books I like to keep and some other books but design books I like to keep within arm's reach that's pretty much the setup you know and actually I'll give you guys a little bonus I'll show you what's underneath here now what you see you see you know cable management ain't the best right you know, life's too short for that. But I also have a yoga mat here, in done yoga. It's just for my feet, <laughs> to keep them elevated and starting to kind of just rest my feet on. And you know, maybe once a year we'll do some yoga. Uh, yep, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing I guess to mention is I have Chromecast behind you, just to cast some stuff on my phone. It's just like um, a simple setup, just to get a little entertainment here and there. That's the, intimate desk setup let me know what you think i'm really really happy with this setup now so much desk real estate you know that's what i really like i don't like clutter and i also i don't like too many things just around so yeah let me know what you think um if you like this video please comment and, and subscribe i'm very happy that we finally got to a thousand subscribers hopefully we can just keep it going uh, more videos more content and hopefully i'll start streaming as well i want to start streaming design content um like just kind of what i want the channel to kind of evolve along with the tech is also like a creators workshop where you all kind of create together so i'm gonna start streaming the stuff i'm creating and yeah so we can all just improve whatever our craft is whether it's video editing ui uh, animation drawing digital painting you know that's big in the big on the that's a big topic right now you know digital art so yeah just whatever it is whatever people want to get better at start streaming we all can just improve together you know just in that same mold as b wall but yeah thanks everybody for watching and i'll catch you in the next one